Welcome to the next installment of The Witch's Tools. Today we're talking about candles. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. Uh, today we decided to talk about candles. Um, granted, candles are not actually a tool per se, but they are used quite a bit. And one is um, as a representation of the god and the goddess on your altar. And the quarter candles. Don't take pictures of me. <laughs> In the eastern quarter, you use a yellow candle. On the southern quarter, you use a red candle. On the eastern, western quarter, he's a blue candle, and in the northern quarter, he's a green candle. The god and the goddess candles, the goddess candle is usually silver or white, and the god candle is usually yellow or gold. And that can change at the different Sabbaths, uh, like Yule, you use red and green. It depends on the purpose of your ritual and your magic. Candle magic is a very complex um, and yet simple form of magic, much like, um, well, like in Catholic churches, you see the, the big rows of, of candles that they all light for prayers and stuff. That's a very watered down version of what candle magic is. You form your intent, you say your prayer or spell in regards to whatever you're doing this for. You light the candle and envision the energy of the candle formulating your intent and sending that energy up into the universe the way heat rises from the flame. Now these candles are handmade from sheets of beeswax that isn't sticking in the holder very well because I made it kind of small. And this is the, the wax sheet that you can get at the store. You just cut or break off the size you want. And you don't need a whole lot. And then you take your wick and you put it in there and just roll it up. I'm not going to roll this one because it's a little, it's not warm enough. You need to warm them up to like 70 or 80 degrees. This is the candle wick holder. And you put it in there and then you press these little pokey things down. To hold the wick and as you roll your candle up these little points go into the wax and keep it stable. Another thing you can do with um, the wick is you cut off a certain length and then you have a pot of melted wax and you dip it in the wax and then hang it on a rod until it gets a little solid and then you dip it again and again and again until it gets to the thickness that you want. This is a hand dipped candle. It was infused with love and magic and healing by a friend of mine. And no, it's not perfect and it's a little lumpy and bumpy. but. What in life that's happened to you hasn't been lumpy and bumpy and you can still see the benefits. <laughs> These are store-bought candles. These are paraffin and um, they can be used for just pretty much the same thing you can with beeswax. Candles come in all shapes and sizes. This one is in a jar. This is a votive candle. The scented, I got it from um, Party light. Party light, right. This is a votive candle I got from Walmart. Tea light. Yep. And this 
is for those who have little children or kids problems with fire. You it has a little switch on the bottom. And you just flick it on and ta-da, candle. These also work quite well for dorm rooms where maybe you can't have an open flame. Or like right now, a lot of the BLM land in this area has no burny fire zones up because of a really large fire. So this would be a perfect type of candle to take out if you were doing a ritual outside. Very good. And it won't blow out. Yes. <laughs> that, that's a major problem around here with all the fire and stuff, or wind we've been having. This is my healing candle. I use it in my healing rituals. It's a three wick candle. I light it for mind, body, and spirit and keep it lit while I'm doing my healing rituals. This is a candle that uh, we had lit from a candle that was lit from a candle from the Bridget, Bridget Flame in Ireland. And this is my altar Akasha candle, the spirit and life of the, the god and the goddess and the all. Those candles were supplied to us by Illusions Magical Arts. Look for them. They're on the page. Hi, Carla! <laughs> this is a candle snuffer. And we use the candle snuffer to put out fires in candles because you don't eliminate one elemental element with another. You don't blow out candles because it ticks off the fire elementals for one and for two dogs don't like to have their faces blown in either <laughs> um, the, the snuffer can be any size or shape this one is a little fairy one that I got from an online store uh, the, the color of your candle can vary with magic um, Brown is usually used for animals. Yellow is for seeking wisdom. Blue is for healing. Green is for money and growth. Um, red is for passion or love. So is pink. White is for purity and um, blessings. Black candles are used for banishing or releasing magic. Bells. And as far as candle holders go, they can be whimsical and like little hearts. They can just come with your normal tea light thing. They come in jars, all shapes and sizes, glass, metal, sometimes just a plate. It depends. What's important is that you observe rules of safety and common sense when you are using fire in your rituals be aware of your clothing long sleeves can catch fire very easily and the wax oil or grease or whatever is in your candle when it's lit is very volatile and flammable and can spread a fire very quickly. The best way to put out a fire like that quickly and without spreading it is by sprinkling it with baking soda. So it might be a good idea to keep a container of baking soda, like a big jar, underneath your altar for emergencies. Fire safety is something that we all have to be conscious of using fire a lot in our rituals with candles and incense. So that's about it for today. Remember. Oh, Helps shit. if you have a lighter that works. <laughs> I think this this puppy's dead. There, there we go. go. Okay. Remember. Intent in magic, candle, spell, anything is the basic power what drives the spell. Everything else is just a tool. A hammer does not build a house. It's the architect and the dream behind it that builds the house. Thus endeth the lesson. Blessed be. Blessed be.